the Black Adam has now moved to digital. Apparently, it's number one on iTunes Digital. Um, I figured as much. Yeah, like it's doing really well. Smart well, move. It was a smart move. Yeah, and 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 you know, Dwayne Johnson is now doing his uh, sort of. I don't know. I don't. I don't want to call it like sympathy tour, pity tour, but he is doing a bit of a bit of the rounds on it. He's even posting on like random tweets and stuff like that about it. He even compared, he, oh God, he compared, I like Black Adam, but he compared Black Adam to A24's films. He's like, yeah, we're doing A24 <laughs> numbers, baby. Wow. Well, like, what are you doing, mate? Stop it. <laughs> like, you, yeah, you're back to yourself. You're doing Venom 1 films, not A24. So let's be real. Yeah, it was... It was a bit of a shocker. I was like, what are you talking about, buddy? I mean, like, he say. should be proud of himself. He's doing a great job with it. He's doing a great job promoting <laughs> the movie. Um, it's his biggest opening ever. Cool. Don't yeah. overdo it. Yeah, just just wind it back in, mate. Wind it back in. But it's interesting because he talks about how, you know, he's, he's talking about how, he's confirming what, you know, what, what, what some of us say anyway, how the box office isn't indicative of the long range goal of the studio you know the studio will look at box office of course but they also assess how long how you know how it does elsewhere so digital releases downloads things like that they assess all of these things and he, he confirms you know because black adam is available on stream digital um you know and he heads to twitter and he thanks fans for making uh it number one on itunes and he's basically like you know hey look we haven't done as, as good as we wanted to do um but that's not the bill and end all for Black Adam. You know, we're, we're looking at more, we're looking at wider than just the box office. Um, but then he starts talking about Warner Brothers and the hierarchy of power again. Uh, and he starts talking about uh, Henry Cavill coming back as Superman. And Johnson confirms that the studio inexplicably and inexcusably had zero intention of reintroducing Cavill's take on soups to uh, the DCU until he and his fellow Black Adam producers forced the issue. I mean, he, we've heard that he was influential in that and essentially secured it. Um, I think he's uh, leaving Zaslav a little bit out of that equation, but yeah. Well, no, so he is literally saying it was the previous regime. Yeah. Right. That's so he's true. saying, yeah. Oh, go, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no, I'm just like really grateful because he's vindicating our coverage from years back mm. when we said literally this that uh, that the power structure here, the ones that are really fighting for for Cavill, it's mm. uh, it's uh, the Rock, and it's uh, the Rock's agent who is also his ex-wife, mm -hmm. and Henry Cavill's agent. It's the three of them that are like trying to trying to fight the good fight here, and they're fighting mm. literally against the studio. So thank you, The Rock, for coming out and uh, confirming that that was on the money the whole time. And, uh, yeah, and I think that he uh, he's uh, well justified in pointing out the incompetence of the previous administration. And I think it's really important because the DC brand name has struggled from it. And uh, I think it's going to be a shift now in the next few years. DC is going to overtake Marvel because of the people that are working behind the scenes of DC and how their agenda is simply to please the fans because when the fans are happy, the moviegoers come and they earn a shit ton of money. And that's what yeah. David Sastel has said. DC on film is supposed to pay for everything else the company does. And that means it has to be good. And therefore, it's actually really important that he goes out and he signals as loudly and clearly as he does that it's a new dawn for DC happening right now and you don't want to miss it. And the people, the previous people, the ones that you know, you wanted Henry Cavill back, they didn't because they were blithering idiots. It's important to point that yeah. out. Yeah. Well, that is literally, I mean, he's literally saying that. He's like, yeah, and the hierarchy of power has changed at DC and that comes, you know, in universe and out of universe, which I quite like. Obviously, that was not the way that that phrase was intended. It's not why it was, you know, how it came up with initially. Um, but I like the fact that he's co-opting that now and being like, ah, oh, yeah, you know what? It's about, uh, it's also about the hierarchy of power within uh, the structure of DC proper. 
uh, as well. We've got them back, and now they want them back as well, which is good. Like, it's cool. Um, and it's nice as well that, again, he's talking about the, the wider element of iTunes. I don't know whether that... Uh, I would imagine they're going to look to do a sequel anyway, regardless of the income on this. This wouldn't have, This isn't going to be something which they're happy with. Uh, unequivocally, I'm sure, Andre, Tom, you, you probably... Uh, agree with that, but I would imagine they'll still do a sequel. What do you think, Tom? What say you? Um, I don't know if Black Adam will get a direct sequel. I think he'll pop up in some other things, but as far as yeah. a proper proper sequel, it might be a while. Um, I know oh, they're yeah, okay. they're you know they don't they didn't ha- actually have high high expectations for this movie. It's a previous regime film. The fact mm. that it opened better than any other solo rock film is pretty much what they were hoping for i had heard they were pushing it to streaming this week to help compete with black adam and or black panther Mm. and and i think it was a good move especially putting it out during the week of thanksgiving a lot of people are going to be home they might turn around and go you know what instead of going to the theater let's let's stay home and watch black adam just right and clearly a lot of people are so uh yeah and yeah. it it yeah. did great that that move did great for uh, bond and uh, top gun so yeah mm. yeah good move on and as part. for as for me i i agree with tom here i don't think that there's uh, going to be a standalone black adam sequel mm. uh, he's going to pop up many other places he's going to pop up in another man of steel movie there could be like uh, some DC event movie where he's going to have a big role. I don't know that James Gunn is going to want to commit to a Black Adam part two in his roadmap just because the previous administration did mm. one. He's not beholden to anything that they did. So, yeah, yeah. so I think that there's two things. One is the box office. The other is what does James Gunn want to do? Was James Gunn big enough a fan of Black Adam that he is going to do a Black Adam 2? Or is he going to to focus on his own stuff from the ground up and mm. give Black Adam some lip service? I think that's the more likely option. Yeah, I agree. I do agree. I think um, it'll be interesting to see what happens. But, I mean, we still don't know what's going to happen moving forward. So probably a new year, we'll hear something with respect to DC. But it's nice to see anyway. Um, Thank you.